Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, I'm going to be dressing according to my zodiac or astrological sign. So for a while, I've been seeing these posts all over Instagram with different clothing items categorized as different zodiac signs. And it made me wonder if dressing like one zodiac sign was a thing. In general, I'm not someone who follows astrological advice to the T, but I think it's fun to read, and I would say that it is sometimes right. As for my sign, I was born on July 16th, so I'm a Cancer, which, if you don't know, is also a crab. I definitely think that in terms of names and mascots, we've gotten the shaft. As Cancers, we are supposed to be, from what I know, caring, emotional, sensitive homebodies. We crave comfort and love. I think that description is somewhat reflective of my personality. It's not 100% on the nose, but it's definitely a little right. In terms of fashion, I would interpret Cancer's traits as liking comfortable clothing of all sorts, which is actually pretty on the nose for me. So after doing a little bit of research, I think I found enough Zodiac outfit recommendations from different sources to test them out for a whole week. I'm curious to see if they're accurate at describing my current style sense, and if they aren't, see if they uncover an underlying style desire that I have not yet explored. All right, let's go. So for day one, I pieced together an outfit from a few different posts from a Zodiac Instagram account. I am trying very hard not to get these shoes dirty. Oh, get out of here, plants. <laughs> Mess with my groove. I took posts mostly from this account, Zodiac's Teen, and the outfit consists of a pink corset top, a pair of dark wash jeans, a white pair of Vans sneakers, and a pink iridescent lip color, and also these sunglasses. So out of this outfit, I already owned the lipstick and the jeans, so I had to go get the sunglasses, the top, and the shoes. So I, as a Cancer, had about 40% of the items that they recommended for Cancers, or things that were close enough to sub in for the items. There isn't a ton of visibility into the decision-making behind these posts, but I did message a bunch of these accounts. One of them did get back to me, one last break free, and they said that they mostly try and match the items to the personality of the Zodiac sign. I think that the pants and the shoes fit in with that. They're pretty comfortable and simple. The top is a little more questionable, because because it's like a corset top. So there is some like boning to contend with and just general like sucking in of that soft crab-like underbelly. I think the spirit of it is that it's supposed to look like lingerie or something to wear to bed. Which would make sense for a homebody or someone who likes to stay in. But I would prefer a flannel top or some type of, of sleeping shirt. Overall, I would say this outfit is pretty neutral, except for the top, which isn't really my style. This corset also has like very structured boob parts. So like my boobs are looking pretty big, which is it's not bad. It's new. So besides these Instagram accounts, there are also a lot of other websites and publications that have written about style suggestions according to your zodiac sign. Like with day two, I went with this outfit from Stitch Fix. Tyler is so used to me wearing all black that he's just like casually putting an open cup of coffee in the car. I'm wearing a white shirt and a white scarf. This is not okay. So in this outfit, Stitch Fix recommended to me a denim jacket, a white button down shirt, a black and white infinity scarf, a black A-line skirt, and colorful pumps. I did actually have some of this in my closet already. This denim jacket is mine and this black skirt is mine. So I had to find this infinity scarf, this white shirt, and these pumps. So they basically define the Cancerian style as sophisticated, loves to dress up, elegant, and feminine. They say that Cancers are usually the most overdressed people in a room and we're into like classic clean lines. I'm not sure about other Cancers, but I wouldn't consider myself someone who like goes for like classic style or like classic silhouettes all the time. I wear a lot of really weird stuff. I wonder what Stitch Fix would say about the clear plastic jeans. That said, I do somewhat relate to the overdressed vibe in that I like a lot of dramatic flair, but also I like to wear a lot of leggings. So I think I'm somewhere in the middle. In terms of this outfit specifically, I think that the silhouette overall does kind of suit my fashion sense. And this outfit also does check the comfiness box. It's pretty comfortable and cozy, to be honest. I feel like I'm keeping my core warm, my soft insides with this scarf, but the, the shoes are really a big old question mark. I think that they were going for their kind of like overdressed, sophisticated, elegant look with these, but my feet were not made for walking. How are your feet feeling? Not good. I feel like I need a specialized wardrobe for like cancers who are tall. Okay, with yeah. Big, unwieldy feet. Where are my Birkenstocks is the title of this outfit. 
So my day three outfit was from Pop Sugar. You're so tall and long in this thing. I am the beige Gumby. From the photos on their website, they recommended to me a statement camel colored overcoat, a white button down, black pants, this red lipstick, and these black boots with heels always heels. So of this outfit, the things that I already had were the pants, the boots, and the lipstick, and then the jacket and the white button down are new. It's weird I didn't have a white button down in my closet before this. I think I just had like a lot of different ones that were mostly black. In general, they said that Cancerian style is classic, sophisticated, and feminine. And they suggested colors like taupe, beige, and red, which sounds a lot like what Stitch Fix said. I do feel that besides the heels, this outfit is pretty comfortable. Like I'm pretty just like warm and cozy under here. I think the jacket in particular has both the sophisticated vibe and the cozy vibe. The coat is very like um, muted Carmen San Diego. I do feel a a little bit like I've got secrets inside. I wouldn't describe my personal fashion sense as classic, sophisticated, and feminine, but I do kind of like this outfit that they suggested to me. This is definitely more dressed up than I would dress on like an everyday basis. And I do feel a little costumey, like it's kind of like bringing me into some type of character, but I like that about it. Because I will say that uh, a through line of my wardrobe is a little costumey. One of these days you're gonna turn around and you're just gonna be naked. <laughs> Surprise! Dressing like I'm naked for a week. I think it'll also be called getting arrested for flashing people for a week. So my day four outfit is from thelala.com, which is like an online magazine. And for this outfit, they suggested that I wear a maxi dress with daring cutouts or a high slit. The description said lots of cutouts. Ah. Uh, there are a lot of them. In the photo on their website, they styled their outfit with a red clutch and wedges. So for this outfit, I already own these wedges, but the dress and the bag are new. At least these aren't like stiletto heels, but for some reason, we're always going with the elevated shoe. From what I can tell, crabs don't wear heels, so I don't get it. I don't know if that's the real litmus. <laughs> They say that cancers are very emotional, which I agree with, but they say that that emotion translates to wanting show-stopping pieces. Head-turning fashions, I think they said. Bow. Bow, 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 Little Angelina bow. Jolie right there. I've been failing fast today. Is that how it goes? I don't completely understand the jump from emotional to show-stopping maxi dresses. Maybe it's like a dramatic thing, like I'm trying to be dramatic. Maybe it's Cancerian because it flows like the water. I do like maxi dresses, so that's true. I don't usually go for like intense cutouts, especially not in the boobage area. It's not a lot of coverage there. There aren't too many children at this park, but there are some. I'll just put my bag right here. I feel like this is a dress you couldn't wear to Disneyland. No. <laughs> No roller coasters. If they had recommended more of a leisure maxi dress, I think it could make sense. But with the dramatic cutouts and the wedges, it feels a little too much like an evening gown to be Cancerian, in my opinion. So my day five outfit is from Vogue. Such a nice day today. I'm feeling so positive and bright. So for this outfit, they recommended a white camisole blouse thingy, some patterned leggings, tan low heeled sandals, a tan handbag and opal earrings. The things that are mine are the earrings, the top and the shoes. And the things I had to buy are the bag and the leggings. So they actually had a pretty lengthy article about Cancerian style and even kind of tried to justify each item, which I thought was cool. They mentioned that Cancer is a sign that loves tradition, home, and family. And I think that they were saying that the warm tones of like the yellow and the beiges kind of remind one of home. I feel like a sunflower. <laughs> Photosynthesis. And then they mentioned that this flowing peplum silhouette is kind of like a watery, fluid look because, you know, cancers are a water sign. You do look a little like you're at a day at the beach. I was gonna say, I feel like a little bit like an umbrella. Interestingly enough, this is the outfit that made me feel like a completely different personality. Something about this outfit does make me feel a little bit like a food blogger. Like I feel like this outfit would work well in an Instagram theme if the theme was beige and white. You got me and then you got the cappuccino. It looks like a heart or a butt. Oh, maybe it's the peach emoji. It's got a hidden meaning. And the hidden meaning is butt. Overall, I liked some of these individual items, but altogether, the style was just a lot more proper and preppy than I usually dress. Oh, I got a thorn in the knee. You just pricked yourself? Yes. I was too zealously sniffing. Oh, this one's the best one. You're sniffing like a dog. <laughs> How are you supposed to do it? I don't know. 
My day six outfit was pieced together from recommendations from Glamour. They mentioned specifically a white button down, yoga pants, and very high heels. I apologize if anyone despises the socks with this outfit, but my toes and my heels are so beat up that I honestly just needed some type of protection. Literally in my sleep last night, I called out to Tyler. I was like, Tyler, can I have some Neosporin for my toes? They mentioned that as soon as you open a Cancer's closet, you will see a white button down. Funnily enough, I had to go buy this. <laughs> that being said, I did use this white button down in a lot of the other outfits this week. So it seems like a lot of people do kind of like throw in a white button down with a Cancer outfit. The yoga pants are new though, and I'm into them. Very comfy. I've got a lot of them. They introduced the yoga pants as a comfortable and cozy option because cancers like comfortable things. And they're the first article to really say that. So I think they get some points for nailing that one on the head. They then lose some of those points for putting me in sky high heels. Yeah, I don't feel like we can get across the street fast enough. Seven, <laughs> six, five. I mean, you barely made it. <laughs> yeah, that was actually kind of a close call. These heels are mine from a different video, but I definitely don't wear them on the regular, even if they do look kind of cool. This is what I call the blister strut. You can even do the blister lean, or you could do the blister crab walk. It's pretty hard to say whether or not this is my style because it's a pretty neutral outfit. It's just a button down, black leggings and heels. It's not like you like really bold reds and I can easily refute that. They're kind of being like, you like neutral things. I'm like, I don't hate them. Yeah, they're neutral. So I had spent six days taking a lot of people's advice on what I should wear as a Cancer Zodiac sign. But I wanted to consult an expert. So I spoke to Miss Mermaid, who is an astrologist and psychic reader based in LA, and asked her what she thought Cancerian style was like. First of all, Cancer, they kind of want to hide out. They kind of want to blend in. They don't want to wear really bright colors. And they also want to be comfortable. They might wear pajamas like a little later than most folks. And <laughs> that, that's actually me. So I've been doing this for a couple of days already. And they've been putting me in a lot of classic silhouettes, like a lot of like white button down shirts. A few of them did say comfortable stuff. Today I'm wearing yoga pants, which I'm excited yes, about. Yes, totally yoga pants. But a, a lot of them put me in high heels. High heels doesn't make any sense. Okay, thank you. Thank you, that's what I was saying. If I was... you had bunny slippers on right now, or you're barefoot right now, that makes way more sense. She first clarified that she doesn't think that you can define a person's entire personality or fashion sense based on their zodiac sign alone. Because there's not only 12 people. And if you really want a more complete understanding of your astrological tendencies, you have to look at your birth chart, which shows where all of the stars were in the sky when you were born, not just your general zodiac sign. An astrology chart is, is like a big pizza and it's cut into slices and each slice is called a house. And the first house mm. is what you look like, your body, how you present yourself to the world, what you're gonna wear. So apparently you should really be looking at the constellation in your first house to evaluate your zodiac style. So we put my birth information into the website she uses and got my chart. And the more accurate the minutes are, the better. And she noticed that that when I was born, I had Aquarius in my first house or as my rising sign. So Aquarius is the rebel, what's gonna be different? I don't wanna wear everything that everyone else is wearing. Once in a while you wanted to do something experimental. Wear plastic pants, yeah. Yes. Yes. So should I be doing like a combination? Like what is like, yeah. so, so Cancer likes comfortable stuff. Yes. And pajamas. Totally. And Aquarius likes weird stuff. Yes. So together I should be wearing like weird comfortable pajamas. <laughs> that sounds like the best thing I could ever wear, honestly. <laughs> so I decided to try out an Aquarius outfit just for reference. So for my last outfit, I went back to the Stitch Fix website from day two and picked up their Aquarius look. I think in general, Aquariuses or Aquarii are supposed to be pretty like risk-taking and eccentric and bold with their fashion choices. In this outfit, they recommended a burgundy moto jacket, a black tank top, a blue patterned skirt, tan booties and gold hoop earrings. So out of this stuff, the tank top and the shoes are mine and the earrings, the jacket and the skirt are not mine. So I wouldn't say I have a higher percentage of these things than I did for the cancer stuff, but I do enjoy parts of this outfit a lot. In general, they recommend for Aquarius style taking a walk on the wild side with bold prints and colors and generally shining. They say shine on Aquarius. 
shine on. From what I've read about Aquarius as well, they're also considered like otherworldly, alien-esque. So I'm into that. I was gonna say it's kind of like squiddish. Right, because that's like so floofy. It's almost like <laughs> tentacles. I was thinking more like flouncy, like a fairy or an angel. Yeah. But a squid-ish also works. Yeah, it's the fairy of the water. In some ways, I did find that this outfit was more my style than some of the other outfits this week. I did enjoy the no heels situation, but I also really liked some of these pieces. I don't think I would wear them all together. I think mostly because of the skirt. Maybe I'm not a bold colors or patterns type of gal, but I do like sort of the individual interesting pieces. Even though this outfit isn't really something that I would usually wear either, I am kind of vibing with like the kookiness. There are kind of like more clothing items to play with and I do enjoy that. All right, so that was my week dressing like my zodiac sign. One thing that stood out to me this week is how differently these publications defined cancer style from my expectations. I personally was harping a lot on comfort and they were talking a lot about classic styles. And I guess there is some type of comfort in a classic look in a sort of tried and true way. But in general, their recommendations weren't really how I like to dress and didn't like speak to something within me that I didn't know existed before as like, oh, I should be dressing like this. I think that the best and closest recommendation was actually made by Miss Mermaid when she said I should be wearing crazy pajamas, which I'm very down with. There were also some aspects of the Aquarius style that I really did like. I don't really vibe with the bright colors and the patterns, but I do vibe with the odd, weird pieces. So in general, I wouldn't recommend taking these style tips to the letter. As Miss Mermaid said, there aren't just 12 types of people with 12 specific fashion senses. But in general, I think they're just fun to read to see what they're gonna say. But what isn't fun is hammer toes. And I know because I have them and they have blisters now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Astro Chiver for watching. Thanks for watching Astro Chiver, and I will see you guys a next time.